So the Portland Trailblazers are sending Josh Hart out of town. They're sending him out east to New York for the Knickerbockers to play for the Knicks. And they're getting back in return? Cam Reddish and a protected first-round pick. And I like Josh Hart. I never liked Cam Reddish. As a Duke fan, as soon as I saw him play for Duke, I was like, sure, he looks like he should have a stroke game. He's a long body. But at the end of the day, at a certain point, you can't just keep looking at, oh, the potential with Cam Reddish. And he never really was good at Duke. He had a couple moments, but overall, he was pretty bad for Duke. And in the NBA, he's gotten a chance with the Hawks and the Knicks. And he's never really been good in the NBA. So I like Josh Hart. He's probably, he's, uh, I think, leads the league in rebounding uh, for a dude that his size or shorter. He's at six foot four, giving you like eight rebounds a game. So I like Josh Hart, and I don't like Cam Reddish. That being said, I got to give the W to the Blazers on this one. Josh Hart, as much as I like him, as much as I like him, your team right now with Josh Hart, Josh Hart's a guy that I feel like he's a great fifth or sixth best dude on a championship level team contending team. But with the Blazers, I think mainly in part because their center is like getting paid and not very good in use of Nurkic. And also in part with because they have a coach that doesn't coach. They run like a middle school type of offense with Chauncey Billups and the Blazers. For whatever reason, they're not at all a contending team. So for you to trade a role player and get back, even up protected first, any type of first round pick from the New York Knicks and a guy that I don't like. But I'll still acknowledge there is some type of potential in there in Cam Reddish, even though I don't think it's likely it comes through to be anywhere near what people think it is. I don't think he's shown himself to be a good player. There is some type of potential. So to get that in return for a guy that he's a role player on a team that really wasn't going anywhere, I got to give them the W on that. For the Knickerbockers, I'm just a little hesitant on giving up a first for him. You know? I mean, we saw right today the Timberwolves, they gave up. D'Angelo Russell, and they got back three second round picks. Uh, I mean, I mean, you, I guess you would rather three second round picks than a protected first. You would rather give up a first than three three second round picks. But I don't know. It just doesn't seem. It seems like Josh Hart was not necessary, not super necessary to anything Portland was doing. So to give up a, a dude with potential that yes, you wanted to give away, but also a first round pick. It's not any, any huge L, but maybe it's just like a hair more than I would want to give up and. For the Knicks, I feel like they've got to make another move for this to really do anything for them significant. Like I said, Josh Hart, I feel like, is a great like last rotation piece on a championship-type team. But the Knicks aren't on the precipice right now. I guess that's why I'm saying it's no for them. For a team like the Cavs, I feel like he's just he moves the needle a lot. For the Knicks, he's a good player, but like he's not going to start for you. He's not going to start over RJ. I don't think it really makes sense at the two. He's going to be a nice bench piece, but... I just don't know how much he moves the needle for them. So I'm not going to give them the L, but I'm going to say, like, I don't love it unless they make another move that makes me feel like, okay, now this is a contending team and he's going to be a great part of that. So I give a W to Blazers and I'm like kind of in the middle for uh, the Knicks on this one. But let me know what y'all think. What are the Knicks thinking on this move? Are the Blazers going rebuild mode? Talk to me, y'all. Drop a comment, hit that like, and that subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.